like cheese balls. My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Bringing you an Xbox One KM strike with the Honey Badger on Sovereign. And, um, you know, I'm playing solo in this gameplay, I believe. I don't know. Someone will correct me on that. But uh, I don't really play too much next gen. Next gen. I have been recently, but um, I don't know. It's still something I'm new to. So it is kind of difficult for me to get chem strikes on the next gen console. So it, I think that kind of makes it more impressive. And it's not exactly spawn trapping, which I know most of you guys enjoy. But, you know, that's not really the topic of this gameplay since it is just a chem strike and not really anything too amazing. But I wanted to talk about the best Call of Duty, at least the best Call of Duty in my opinion, and kind of ask you guys what your favorite Call of Duty was. But first, I kind of wanted to address a trend in Call of Duty, like the Call of Duty cycle. And that is where the current Call of Duty, whatever it may be, like Black Ops 2, and that was in its prime, or Call of Duty Ghost right now, everyone, whenever a game is out, whenever it is like the new like best game, everyone says it sucks, no matter what. No matter what, whatever game is out that everyone's playing, it sucks. You know, they hate it, and they complain about it, but they play it anyway. And that is pretty much the trend that I've seen. You know, obviously it varies depending on the person, but, you know, in the majority of people say that Call of Duty Ghost sucks, and I would have to agree with them, just because the game has its BS. But what do I think the best Call of Duty actually is? Um, if I actually had to sit down and think about it and think about actually like logical reasons on what would be my favorite Call of Duty, and I would have to go with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 made by Infinity Ward back in like 2010 or 9 or 11 or some, some year like that. Um, why would I say that? I just, I like to look back and I like to look at all the steps that they took like forward to make the to just kind of like revolutionize Call of Duty, you know, they added so many new things to that game that kind of just changed it and have been in every Call of Duty since then. Uh, for example, some big kill streak that you're going for. I know Modern Warfare 2 had this, but uh, Modern Warfare 3 was like the second one to really kind of put the nail in the coffin and keep it in the rest of the Call of Duties. And that was the MOAB. And the MOAB and the nuke and the KM strike and the nuclear is pretty much the basis of the pub stomping community, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know. I am involved in because I am Doom Superior and you know there's like we are Am Clan which is a huge pub stomping clan and all those other clans that wouldn't really exist if there wasn't some big kill streak to go for and that people couldn't get like three or four of in a game or anything like that. You could go for a lot of kills but you know that would get old watching after some time. Now another thing that Modern Warfare 3 introduced was Specialist. Specialist is to this day is the only thing I run in Call of Duty. It was the only thing that I ran in Modern for 3 and still on Call of Duty Ghost. It is the only thing that you will see on my class setups just because it's so nice to have those extra perks to make you just feel like Superman just run around be balls deep in their spawn and just be flying around not being able to die because you have so many perks it is such a great feeling to have all those perks and the specialist bonus and everything like that sadly the specialist bonus in Call of Duty Ghost isn't like it was in Modern for 3 because uh, you don't get all the perks you only get the ones that you put on the specialist bonus which is kind of a bummer but um you know it's whatever um and you know it also introduced support kill streaks which I honestly don't like that much at all just because um, in Modern Warfare 3, the way they did it was you could get like a stealth trapper, and then the stealth trapper, you'd call that in, and that'd be someone who does absolutely awful, like he could be like 20 and like 3,000, and just like that's an absolutely awful player right there if you have 3,000 deaths, I'm not even sure that happens, but they could do absolutely terrible, still get a kill streak, and still kill you, even though they did absolutely nothing, but... We have to admit, they did fix that in Call of Duty Ghosts. They don't really have any big support kill streaks that can kill you. Um, which means Infinity Ward listened to us and did something right. But it also introduced that, which was something new and kind of revolutionary for Call of Duty. I also really enjoyed Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And I think that is where I found my love and how enjoyable Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was. Because it was on the same engine. And pretty much was the exact same game, just with minor improvements, like the Moab or the Specialist Bonus or Support or any new maps or game types. Or Kill Confirmed was also introduced in that game. And Kill Confirmed to this day is still a really popular game type. A lot of people play in it uh, on Modern Warfare 3, on Ghost, and on all the other games. Uh, so that's definitely really popular, and I'm sure a lot of people are glad that it was in the game. But there's some other Call of Duties that people think was really good was Black Ops 1. Now, Black Ops 1, I didn't really play too much of. Um, mainly because I didn't really like any of the guns, you know, you could say the FAMAS was good, but I have awful aim, and with the high recoil on the FAMAS, I am absolutely terrible, at least I thought it had high recoil, so I can't really aim at all, and I just die and go like 2 and 50 every single game, 
um, and Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 is a great game, but like I said in the beginning, with that Call of Duty cycle, with whatever game is in its prime, people tend to hate. You know, since I didn't play Call of Duty back then, I can't really say if that was true for Call of Duty 4 or not, so I just have to assume that it was, and since it's just the oldest that people think it's the best because it's the one they haven't played in the longest, I guess if that makes any sense, but... Bottom line is I think Call of Duty Modern 3 was my favorite, and I want to know what game you guys thought was the best. So drop a comment down below. Let me know if you think Black Ops 2 is better than Ghost, or Ghost is the best, or anything like that. Or let me know if you don't even play Call of Duty. If you play Madden all day or NHL or something, let me know what games you guys like to play in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you guys are new, and have a fantastic day. Bye.